Well, I'm looking at the chat and I'm seeing some folks mention offensive coordinator needing to cut Spencer loose, open it up. Well, Marcus, Marcus Satterfield's on the hot seat. No question. The Gamecocks OC. Uh, I mean, again, anytime you got an offense that finishes 116th in the country, that's going to come with the territory, right? You're getting paid a lot of money to put a, to put just a decent product on the field, not even an elite one, a decent one. And uh, South Carolina's offense was anything but decent a year ago. Now, granted, towards the end of the season, great performance against Florida. The Mayo Bowl, I think, really, you know, it, it helped some people get over the fact that he was coming back. And after that bowl game, it was a no doubt he was coming back, especially the way they game plan in that one, bringing to carry on Joyner out. And, I mean, the offensive explosion, you know, was incredible. Um, but certainly he's on the hot seat because we, we've we've looked at it this way, Mark, that – I mean, listen, last year you were driving the beat-up hoopty, right? And I, I don't understand why people don't want to give more credit to the fact of what they were dealing with on the offensive side. I mean, you played I – mean, we already talked about it. You played four different quarterbacks, your offensive line stunk, and you still found a way to win six games, right? I look at last year, I think it was 50% personnel. I think personnel was just a major issue. And I think it was 50% Satterfield. I don't think he was great last year. Don't get me wrong. Um, <clears throat> this year there's no excuse, Right. There's just no excuse this year. You traded in that beat-up hoopty for the Ferrari. And so if it don't run this year, we know it ain't the car, it's the driver. Like You just got to get somebody else's hands on the wheel there. So you've got, listen, you upgraded personnel, you got the quarterback, you got the weapons. I'm not saying you're an elite offense, but you've got enough to score, I think, 30 points per game or pretty damn near close to that. So, you know, we, we've talked about before, Carolina could go 7-5 and five this year. But it's a lot about how you win, Mark, right? Like, this isn't baseball. Style points matter, right? Winning by one's not good enough for fans. <clears throat> You've got to win with style, especially when you're talking about Georgia State, SC State, Charlotte, Vandy, for example. You could go seven and five, and that feel a lot better. Only one more win, but it feel a lot better because you scored a lot of points. Your margins of victory were much, much greater. You were much more entertaining. The offense was much more flashy. Um, versus last year, a lot of people felt like you kind of backed your way into six wins, right? Like a lot of those games were really ugly. Again, you beat EC on a last second field goal. You beat Troy by single digits. You had to resort to a last second drive to beat Vandy. So if you're able to get four blowout wins against those four teams and, and maybe Mizzou, you score, you know, upwards of upper thirties, low forties in points and get a big victory there. And, you know, you're able to, to, to show, to show a productive offense in SEC games. Yeah, I think as long as they do that, if they score 30 points per game and and just show progress on offense, I, I think Satterfield will be back. I think he will. And, and in my predictions, I have him doing enough to be back. Um, but certainly, there, there's a lot of pressure on him this year and to make that offense work. And, you know, I mean, teams aren't winning games 17 to 14, Mark. They're not winning 20 to 17. This isn't 2004. Like, you need to score a lot of points to win. And, uh, I mean, last year the Gamecocks just didn't get it done. So, um, got to be better, and Sat knows that. They all know that. And it's going to be interesting to see just – because, again, I, I think a lot of fans are guilty until proven innocent. They are just waiting for the first sign of that's a bad play call, this scheme. I mean, God, we go three and out in the first series of the year. The fire Satterfield tweets are going to start raining down. I already know it. So, um, tons of pressure on him. But, I mean, it's SEC football, Mark. You know the drill. There's always pressure. So, 